Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom. Now I know the title of today's video is a little bit dramatic and it's something I haven't really done before. But trust me, I really mean it. This is something that you should know if you're a JavaScript developer. What I'm talking about here is the defer attribute. So this one here is gonna help you in loading your external JavaScript files. Now, in order to demonstrate the usage of the defer attribute, I'm gonna be showing you a very common scenario in code. I'm not gonna waste any more time, so let's jump right into it. All right, so let me show you a very common scenario that I've seen happen over the years to many of my viewers. So people have commented and they've said, you know, Dom, I'm getting this error, how do I fix it? Okay, so this scenario looks just like this, all right? I've got this button on the page and it just says here, click me, and it's got an ID, which of course is then used in the JavaScript to do something when the button is clicked. As we can see in the JavaScript file, it's simply adding an event listener to alert something to the user. Now, of course, in a real world application, uh, you know, you're not gonna have this button here, but the point is you're still gonna have some elements on the page and then you're gonna be using JavaScript to add some interactivity to it, whether it be events or something else. So the point is you've got the DOM and you're trying to interact with HTML elements, okay? Now, the script tag is at the top here in the head. So, What's wrong with this code? I'm sure many of you can answer that question. So if I go back in the browser or if I go in the browser here, we can see we get something like this. If I click on the button, it's not gonna work because I get the error straight away, which says, cannot read properties of null reading at event listener. So this error right here, like I said, is something that has come up so many times on my channel um, where essentially it's trying to add an event listener to null. So what it's saying is your button is null, okay? It can't find your button even though it very clearly exists. Now, like I said, many of you probably know the answer and the solution to this problem right here. And that would be to move the script tag to the bottom of the body. Okay, this right here works because when the script is on the top of the page in the head here, this script is going to run before the browser has a chance to even load this button. Okay, so the script is running before the button is registered in a sense, right? And that's why it can't find the button and you're getting that error. By placing the script at the bottom of the body, you are now loading the button and then the script is running, therefore it can find it, and it's gonna work. Of course, in the browser, if I refresh the page here, just to prove my point, we can see now, of course, the button works. So, that is your one, or that is one solution to this problem here, putting the script on the bottom of the page. Your other solution, and the preferred solution in my eyes, is gonna be to keep your script in the top, in the head, but add the defer attribute. So we can add defer to the script up here. And now if I go back in the browser, I'll refresh, there's no error and the code still works. So what's happening here? Well, basically this script is gonna be loaded in parallel with the page. Okay, so the browser is gonna download it and that's gonna happen in the background. Now, only once the document has been read, and these elements are available, that is when the script is going to execute. So there's a two-step process. So the first step is gonna be loading or downloading the script. That's the first step. The second step is executing that script only once everything is loaded up. And that is why you don't get that null error when you use the defer attribute. So this right here is also gonna have two more benefits. The first one isn't too significant. And that is that, you know, technically the browser is gonna see your script a lot quicker since it's, it's in the head, okay, as opposed to the body. So it's gonna see your script a lot quicker. So you might see uh, slight performance improvements. But the second benefit of using defer here is that semantically the script probably makes more sense in the head because you can keep your body for your markup and your actual content and leave the external dependencies and your scripts to the head 
So that's why I'm recommending you use the defer attribute here as opposed to using on the bottom and leaving that one out. And also one last thing to mention is that the defer attribute only works for external scripts. So doing something like this, uh, just like this, wouldn't make any sense. So that right there is the defer attribute. And that's all for today's video, guys. As usual, I hope this one helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.